Hi, I'm Suzanne Ryan from the Belcom Estuary Reserves Group and we're here today at the Belcom Estuary, the most significant estuary on this side of the bay and along with its creek line, the most unspoilt. We're here for Summer by the Sea, brought to you by Coast Care, a program of DELP, the Department of Environment, Land, Water and Planning. To begin, I'd like to acknowledge the traditional owners and custodians of this land, the Bunurong of the Kulin Nation, and pay my respects to their elders, past and present, who still care for this land. Why are we at this spot? Well, the creatures of our story have been coming here for centuries. Shapeshifters who, during their lifetime, change appearance five times. Snake-like and nocturnal, eels are truly intriguing creatures. They spawn in remote and nutrient-poor places in the seas, and no human has ever seen them reproduce. The eels of our story first entered our estuary as tiny little creatures after a journey of 3,000 kilometres. They were born way up in the Coral Sea, north of Australia, and helped by the ocean currents, floated and swum down the east coast of Australia. Some end up in Port Phillip Bay and they head to Belcom Estuary at Mount Martha. This is one of the amazing mysteries. How do they know where to go? Some of them head upstream, finding their way into spots way up in the catchment. They climb waterfalls and dams and they slither over the grass. Given all the effort they've gone to to get here, we should look after them, right? A major success for Berg has been the installation of a 24-hour water quality monitor. The station gives us data on the health of the water in the estuary and will ensure a more detailed and rapid response to any environmental issues. Things like sewage spills or overflows, events that may be harmful to the eels and you also who may swim in the local waters. When you visit a place like this, remember to ensure that your rubbish is placed in a bin. If you see rubbish or pollutants in the estuary, use the Snap Send Solve app and report it to your local council. Or if you really want to get into it, become an eel friend and have fun. You don't even need to be local, just online. Join a citizen science project like Estuary or Water Watch. All the details are available on the Berg website. Did you know that the Belcom Estuary is one of the few naturally opening and closing estuaries in Port Phillip Bay? Why is this so significant? Because migrating eels rely on the estuary areas to adapt to salt water before they leave on their seaward journey, returning to their spawning grounds. They take many months to adapt to the higher salinity in the lower reaches of the estuary. Any artificial opening of the estuary will interfere with the balance of fresh and salt waters at the estuary mouth, and this can be very dangerous for the eels. Researchers believe that the mature eels, once they reach the open ocean, are helped by the sea currents and swim at great depths returning to their birthplace. But it's never been proven. Now is it about to be? Burke has contributed to an innovative citizen science program assisting researchers from the Arthur Ryle Institute with their eel satellite tracking program. Electronic transmitters were fixed to three eels migrating out of the Belcom Estuary. This research has been undertaken to better understand the eel's mysterious journey out to sea. Ecologically, eels are very important. They help regulate the population of other animals they feed on, and they can be used as a bioindicator for pollution since they are long-lived, spending up to 15 years in the same environment. If we continue to care for places like the Belcom Estuary, it will ensure that the amazing life cycle of the eels continues for millennia to come.